Uh. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time for the entertainment news, and we are starting with this one. ID Kabasa reacts to Mobad's death. Music producer ID Kabasa has spoken about the events that led to the death of former Malian music signee Mobad, who passed away on Tuesday, September 12. After his death, his friends shared videos of the late singer being attacked and assaulted on different occasions by Naira Mali's close friend, Sam Larry, after he left the music label owned by the musician due to internal disputes and allegations of assault. Reacting to the news of Mobad's death, Idi Kabasa during a live streaming appealed to the police to go after Sam Larry because he pushed Mobad into depression and supposedly oppressed him before his death. He also alleged that the mansion and luxury cars owned and flaunted by Malian artist Zinoliski were actually bought in Naira Mali's name. In related news, the management of Mobad has announced that a candlelight procession will be held for the late singer. Taking to the social media handles of the late singer, the management shared a poster with the details writing, and I quote, We appreciate the outpouring of love from fans across the world to the ones who've organized events in their communities as a way to honor and pay respect to our shining light. We say thank you. Join us for Mobad's candlelight procession and tribute concert, end of quote. Just so you know, the candlelight procession will be held on Thursday, September 21, 2023 by 5 p.m. at Lecky Phase 1 Gate. As well, we shall present are required to walk in honor of the star down to the popular Muriel Kola Park in Victoria Island, where the tribute concert is slated to take place at 8 p.m. All of this is coming after the Nigerian police launched an official investigation into Mobad's death as a request has been drafted to the chief coroner of Lagos State requesting an autopsy. And the plot thickens. Yeah, um, nice one with the tribute and of course the walk, looking at um, what is going on around various states in Nigeria. Yep. Um, that's yep. Let's try not to fail people like that. I remember when the saga with Naira Mali was brewing, the video clip, the initial ones that were released. Mm -hmm. I remember on this show I was asking, don't we have like egg bonds, like elder ones in the music industry that would have called Naira Mali, called Mobad, like, okay, yes, this thing, they happen, this thing, they happen. Because we keep getting all this record label artist drama. There should be like a forum or a place or somebody that they can go to, talk to, to settle all of this. But it's just, whatever is happening right now, it's just crazy. I'll say it again, we have a whole lot of people that are going through a lot. They are crying out right now. Yeah. All what, we, all what we need to do is do not fail them. Speak out and work on it now before it gets too late. That's what just yeah, what I was it's just, it's just very sad because everywhere you turn to, you see hashtag justice for Mobad. Now people are coming out with new evidence. People are coming out with new allegations. People are saying this is happening. And now the police has said that um, anyone who has evidence or witnessed one or two things that happened to the late singer should come out. But a lot of people are saying they're scared and... I don't know, there's just a whole lot going on. I just hope this whole thing will be sorted out and we can get justice for Mobad. And people are also waiting on... Um, so there was um, this talk about um, exhuming his body for autopsy. And a lot of people are waiting on that. Is it going to happen anytime soon? Because it's been a week since he died and he's been buried. So that's another question that we're waiting for an answer for. So we just... I just hope we can get justice for Mobad. Next story, Omale talks about life and happiness. Nigerian singer Omale has advised people to live their lives on their own terms as people would always move on when they die. He said this during an interview with Adesha Kweola Jide AK Shops Do on the Afrobeat podcast where he expressed the sadness that things are slow in slipping back to business as usual since Mobad died. The social crooner also stated that he struggled at first with fame before finding his balance later and he had no issues coming out to the public to talk about his vulnerabilities. First. <sighs> yeah, um, Omale right there with um, Shopsy Do. Um, it's crazy how since this whole Mobad thing happened, people have been calling out Omale that. Yep. Can we also focus on Omale? Yes, aside people also talking about Zinoliski, looking at his pictures, of before videos of before and after mm. and of course so many revelations like what Eddie Kabasa said about even the house and the car that uh, Zinoliski is flaunting is signed under is bought under the record label people have been talking about Omale that if we listen deep to Omale's songs 
is actually passing a message and he has broken it down that it's what he's feeling, he's going through a lot. He stepped into fame at a young age, he couldn't handle everything, so he's pouring out everything in the songs and I'm sure there are people around him. We've seen crazy tweets that Malay has put out in the past that people are always worried. We've seen some videos that we are worried and saying, what is wrong with Malay? Experiencing on how to do experiences on how to deal with situations like this and it's good to always speak out so that people around you can always show help whenever the help is needed. Yeah, yeah. and if you have people around you that you feel are crying out for help, try to be there for mm -hmm. them because mm -hmm. some people do not know how to tell people they need help. Mm -hmm. But when they give you a signal and you're not doing anything, they, they have no expectations. So I feel like if you have people around you you feel are struggling or going through a lot, always try to be there for them no matter what they say, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, still on the entertainment news, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky introduces their newborn to the world. Rihanna and her partner ASAP Rocky have introduced their newest family member, their new baby Rose, to the world in an intimate family photo shoot. The shoot is the first time the public will be catching a glimpse at Rihanna since she gave birth in early August. Likewise, the family shoot is their youngest son Rose's first introduction to the public eye. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky pose for adorable family portraits with a newborn son named Ross and um, their 16-month-old first son, Riza. The exclusive new family portraits of the celebrity couple were shared by Vogue magazine. The caption read, and I quote, it's a family thing at Bad Girl Riri at ASAP Rocky and Riza Athelstein Mayers. Welcome Rose Mayers to their growing family, end of quote. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky have been dating since 2020. Their relationship has been characterized by stylish outings and romantic red carpet moments. Massive congratulations to Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, and big brother Riza on the arrival of Rose. And congratulations to his stepdad, OJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, myself and Rihanna, we're not cool right now, so. Ah. Uh... You don't cast last, last. Ah, Everybody chop inside. breakfast. I don't chop my breakfast. Two kids already. Um, what else? We, got, we have to bounce. Don Jazzy, you didn't even have hope before. <laughs> I had because I was there with Robin. I don't even call her Rihanna, but right now everything don't cast. But massive congratulations. And I love what they always do. Yep. So it is Rihanna R. It is Riza R. R. It is Riot R. Mm -hmm. It is Rocky R. Yep. So it's like an R family. Shout out to them, by the way. Yeah, of course, unveiling, them. using the pictures. Instead of saying much, people have been speculating, speculating. All right, don't worry, calm down. And it's crazy how, how because Vogue would definitely pay for that picture, yeah. pay for everything. Exclusive. And even the baby self has, is small. You don't need cash out for magazine shoots. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's all good. God win. <laughs> and then Rihanna, that should have been okay. Yeah, let me just wow. let me let that slide. Yeah, wow, last last. <laughs> okay, uh, the picture, the color that they chose for the baby's outfit has caused a lot of controversy on social media because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, I thought it was a boy. Why is he wearing pink?" But have you seen guys wear pink? Pink looks good on guys. Like even King Oje has one pink and looks really words, cute. In the words of my uncle, that's Sean Carter, aka Jay Z, is Marv. Is Marv. <laughs> and she has always talked about how she wants to be intentional with the way she starts. Mm -hmm. Because um, Rihanna is a fashionista. Yep. Yeah, we've seen what that transition from music. She has done movies into fashion. And of course, yeah, everything that she's doing business wise. So she has been intentional. She has talked about it, how she has to be intentional with the way she dresses her kids. So it's now picking now. Which one concerned on the inside? Ah, calm down. <laughs> Congratulations to the family. Yeah, was there. So we've got Social View coming right up after this break. Don't go anywhere, guys. Yes, yes, sure. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time to see what's happening on Social View, which means we'll be sharing all the amusing and outrageous moments taking place in the world of social media. And let's do this. Uh, yeah, this one says, Grilled in Abuja, Garki. Bruh, 6,000 6, Naira only. And this is a picture of the fish, grilled fish. Um, the chips and everything. And someone now said, Abuja, they enjoy you. For VI, the onions alone, now nah, four, five. So this in Lagos cannot be 6K. At all. Yeah. And it's not the same Abuja that we've seen one guy flaunting uh, fish, million, million fish. Hey. Now they want. Five point something million. Now one they fish. Stop. Oh. Who is lying? But on, onions, uh, you no. Know. Maybe there are some places, but yes, Maybe. we agree. If not Lagos, the onions alone, <laughs> not for five. 
<laughs> Let's check out the next one. This is from Adniki, and, and she's saying, Personally, bad English is such a turn up for me. And my quiz, C. Let, now says, You don't need to put for me after writing personally. Hmm. Hey, but talking about somebody trying to correct somebody, but you said, There was a cut. You go back down inside. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so even you are a turn up for yourself. Because personally, it's a turn up for Are you. you? <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Khalid underscore OL now says, uh, people say I look like BBN's Ibuka so much, but I think it's not true. What do you think? <sighs> and that I am Kenny Fizu now says, let's wait till you have beards. So this is a picture of Ibuka with the outfit. And of course, he's wearing almost the same color and is asking a question. And somebody actually told him the truth. And before we said this, when you are going on social media, especially Twitter now known as X, hey, don't do this thing because you will all. never survive it. At but, all. But it actually looks like a bukasha. The outfit looks like a bukas color. Okay, without the beard. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one at is underscore Sandra says, car dump, post your car. And of course, that thing that girls used to do now that they'll be taking picture inside people's car. Okay, and their cars too. And as Baby Sola now says, my car is inbuilt. It's my charisma. Yes, my car is actually inbuilt and it is my charisma. AKA, you know, get car. It is my charisma. So, therefore, you cannot do car dump. My own, no, 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 no. I can do car dump. My own four wheel drive, I used to drag it with me. Okay, it's charisma. Yes, it's charisma. On Fridays, charisma. <laughs> On to the next one. This one says, I stopped visiting people's houses when the baby child tried to stab me with a knife and the mother said, don't block it, we cry. Huh? Huh? Okay, can never be measure. Or next, maybe, maybe, leave him now so they play. Like, let him slap. I was... Next time, I will not block. I'll just go behind the mother. Oh, yeah, you want to choke now. Stab, stab your mother. <laughs> hey. What don't kind of don't block it, we cry. Who cares? <laughs> this is a WhatsApp chat and it's saying, what's your relationship status, baby? And the baby replied, lonely are the talk. Bang, 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 bang. I love it. Money's on you. Yeah. I'm going to use it. What's your relationship? I'm going to use it. Mm. No, me, I'm not lonely at the top. I did all right. I'm going to use I it. I did all right. I'm wrapping up social view. This one says, this is a picture of a puppy. And he says, when he didn't call you wifey in front of his friends, it doesn't mean that you're, See, not, you're not still his wife. See, let me tell you. Or his babe. He call you wife in front of his friends, though, in front of family. He'd not call you wifey. You. Mm -hmm. If you're not wifey, you're not wifey. They'll say our wife, our wife. Or gather our wife is just to collect one or two things from you. Because at the end of the day, wife is wife. So it's, it's not by what they call you. So, yeah, it's not by mm. the name that they call you outside. Mm. Okay, I'm not supposed to cast updates. Ladies and gentlemen, and here you have it from the world of social media on Social Fail. It's time for New Music Wednesday. Time to discover some new music videos.